when God steps out, suddenly men and women all over the parish were gripped by the fear of God. God are my hands clean, is my heart pure? The moment that that happened in the bar, a power was let loose in Barbas that shook the whole of Louis. God stepped out. The Holy Spirit began to move among the people. And uh, the minister writing about what happened on the following morning to this. You met God on Meadow and Moorland. You met Him in the homes of the people. God seemed to be everywhere. What was that? Revival! Revival! Not an evangelist. Not a special effort. Not anything at all organized on the basis of human endeavor, but an awareness of God that gripped the whole community so much so the worst of I can remember once within 24 hours addressing eight meetings, crowded churches. There was a dancing progress that night. And while this young man was praying in the aisle, the power of God moved into that dam. And the young people, over a hundred of them, fled from the dam as though fleeing from a plague. And they made for the church. I endeavored to get up into the pulpit, I found the way blocked with young people who had been at the dance. When I went into the pulpit, I found a young woman, a graduate of Aberdeen University, who was at the dance. And she's lying on the floor of the pulpit crying, Is there mercy for me? Is there mercy for me? Is there mercy for me? God! was at work. Well, that meeting continued until four o'clock in the morning. Mr. Campbell, there must be anything between two and three hundred people at the police station. They're gathered there and some are on their knees. Now, I can't understand this now. He wasn't in the church, you see. But here, a crowd of men and women from a neighboring village, five and six miles away, were so moved by God that they found themselves moving to the police station because the constable there was a God-fearing and well-saved man. They were there, and this young man begged of me to go along to the police station. And I went along, and I shall never, never forget what my ears heard and my eyes saw that morning. Young men were kneeling by the roadside, I think just now with a group of half a dozen. One of them, under the influence of drink, and his old mother kneeling beside him and saying, Oh, Willie, Willie, are you coming at last? Mr. Campbell, something wonderful has happened. Revival has broken out. And Willie today is the parish minister. And from the group, of young men 
who taught the Lord that night. There are nine in the minute. To the door and see the crowd that's here. Eleven o'clock, Matthew. Eleven o'clock. And I went to the door and there must have been a congregation of between six and seven hundred people gathered around the church. And within a matter of minutes, the church was crowded at a quarter to twelve. Now, where did the people come from? How did they know that a meeting was in progress in the church? Well, I cannot tell you. But I know this from village and hamlet. The people came. Were you to ask some of them today what was it that moved you? They couldn't tell you. Only that they were moved by a power that they could not explain. And the power was such as to give them to understand and see that they were hell deserving sinners. And of course the only place they could think of where they might find help was at the church. Now that is the fact that cannot be disputed. God was everywhere. And because of this awareness of God, the churches were crowded. Crowded. Through the day, right on through the night to five and six o'clock in the morning. In revival, time does not exist. One of the mighty movements in the midst of this great visitation. You know that the drinking house was closed that night. Never been open since. The men who used to drink there and spend the evening there are now praying in our prayer meeting. It is because they entered into the fullness. Because the cause of people of do is grasp that truth that we can say today we know practically nothing of backsliding from that gracious movement of years ago. My dear people, did you good folk understand what revival means? Have you a conception of what it means to see God working? The God of miracles? Father and supernatural, moving in the midst of men and hundreds swept into the kingdom. Oh, that we might see it, that we might see it. And the question isn't where you're challenged, the question is where you're changed.